data are not always stored in a single block within a spreadsheet. This spreadsheet has two blocks of data. We only want to import the second one. We'll import this data using the load data file method. This loads the data directly into GenStat's data pool or memory without displaying the spreadsheet. This can be useful when you have a very large spreadsheet, as it can take some time to load. From the menu, select Data, Load, Data File. If you install GenStack in the default location, you will find the bacteria.xls file here. See, Program Files, Gen19ED, Data. From the drop down list, select Other Spreadsheet Files. Double click Bacteria.xls to import it into GenStat. In the Import window, select the second spreadsheet, Bacteria Counts, then click Next. To specify which spreadsheet cells you want to import, select Specified Range. Enter the range D3 colon E13, then click Next. This window lets you preview and select which columns you want to import. By default, all columns are selected. We want both columns, so click Next. The final window lets you control more advanced options. Before we select any options, let's take a quick look at our original spreadsheet again. When a column name has an exclamation mark at the end, this defines it as a factor. We want to use the Crop2 column as a factor because it contains category data, but there's no exclamation mark in this column. Instead, we can convert this column to a factor when we import the spreadsheet. Click the Factors tab. Make sure the first option is selected. This option tells GenStat to identify columns with repeated values or labels. You'll be able to convert these columns to factors in the next step. Click Next. GenStat identified that the column Crop2 had repeated labels. Notice that the column has the letter T in front of it. The letter T tells us that this column contains text. To convert this column into a factor, click Factor. The T has now changed to an F for Factor. Now click OK to finish importing the data. There is no spreadsheet to display as we've loaded the data directly into the GenStat server or memory. You can check that the data has loaded by moving to the Navigator panel and double-clicking All Data. If the Navigator shows Output instead of Data, move to the bottom and click the Data tab, then move back up and double-click All Data.